It is no surprise to me that these Northmen have arrived in Wessex. After I heard about their raids into Northumbria, I realized it was only a matter of time before they came ashore here. When I lived at the court of the Emperor Charlemagne, of long and blessed memory, these Northmen had already emerged from their lairs to attack parts of his empire. And I remember an incident from this period very well. I was with Charlemagne's party at a harbor town in southern Gaul, and as we sat eating supper, a fleet of pirates attacked the harbor. There was some confusion about their identity, but from the build of their ships and their speed through the water, the emperor recognized them at once as Northmen. After a lightning attack, they made their escape. The emperor's men took up the chase, but they were soon outsailed. Charlemagne rose from the table and stood at the window facing east. I remember it as clearly as if it were yesterday. For a long time he stood while the tears poured down his face. In the end, he said, do you know why I weep so bitterly? It's not because I'm afraid these ruffians will do me any harm, but I am sick at heart, at heart to, think, to think that even in my lifetime they have dared to attack this coast. And I am horror-stricken when I foresee what evil they will do to my descendants and their subjects. And now it is our turn to deal with these ruffians, these pagans. But deal with them we shall. And must. I thought. Yes, Father. I put it in your hands to work with our elderman to raise an army. In the meantime, we shall send spies and others to observe the size of the raiding party and their intentions. These Northmen never like to venture far from their ships, and they prefer not to be drawn into pitched battle. Let us not be afraid, but rather watchful and ultimately decisive, as the Emperor was. <laughs> <laughs>